Day breaks in a small village in Burkina Faso. From every neighborhood come people with buckets, jerry cans, basins. They meet around the community pump to draw the water they need. A little further away, in another town, mothers fill their jerry cans from a public standpipe. These are everyday scenes, constantly going on all around the country. And yet, the search for drinking water in these developing countries is a constant struggle, a basic economic and technological challenge for the survival and well-being of the people who live there. Our trip takes us to Orléans, 150 kilometers south of Paris. Here we find the headquarters of Vernier Hydro, the French leader in supplying drinking water to rural and isolated areas. For over 30 years, Vernier Hydro has been designing, building and selling human-powered pumps, solar pumps and pumping and supplying systems of drinking water for the African market. La pièce arrive ici, elle est réceptionnée, contrôlée. Si la pièce est conforme, elles sont mises en stock et elles sont sorties du stock au fur et à mesure que l'on fabrique des dossiers. Ces pièces-là vont partir courant de semaine prochaine pour la République centrafricaine. Back in Pau, on the border with Ghana, there is an HPV here, a human-powered pump installed more than 20 years ago. Le plus près et c'est plus facile. Avant, on partait à un kilo pour creuser des puits. For the sake of development, the water that locals get is not free. Instead, it's sold for an affordable price. Il y a une volonté de développement. Il y a, il y a une volonté de faire des choses utiles. Mais en même temps, et c'est ça qui peut être surprenant, une volonté de gagner de l'argent. On fait du développement. Faire du développement, c'est pas faire de la philanthropie. On ne fait pas une aide ponctuelle face à une situation particulière de crise ou d'urgence. On s'inscrit dans une démarche long terme. Tout doit trouver son équilibre. Et le service de l'eau, c'est un service qui se paye parce qu'il nécessite des moyens, qu'ils soient humains ou techniques, que l'on doit, d'une manière ou d'une autre, payer. S'il y a une pomme qui est gâtée, les villageois m'appellent pour aller réparer. Parce que c'est important. S'il n'y a pas l'eau, en tout cas, vraiment, c'est difficile. Vernier Hydro's HPV human-powered pumps combine simplicity, sturdiness and ease of maintenance. A pump ten times lighter than conventional pumps. They can be put together and taken apart by hand in just a few minutes without any lifting tools. Wear parts are on the surface, not at the bottom of the borehole, and only one key is needed to replace them. The parts are all made with rust-proof materials, an anti-corrosion guarantee. A logistics network to supply parts is set up in order to meet the needs of installers and repairers. Maintenance costs are the lowest in the market for users. When there are too many people for basic human-powered pumps, in medium-sized towns, Vernier Hydro sets up piped water schemes that distribute water to standpipes and private connections. A generator powers the pump, which carries the water up into a water tower. A piped water supplying network then lets water supply operators serve their clients. Every month, the head of operations meets the network manager to collect information about consumption and revenue from each standpipe and private connection. The month passed, it was 1143. The fontainier was eliminated at 60 francs per meter cube, or 12% of the receipt. This is the village of Titabe in the north of the country near the Niger border. Here is where the Sahel begins. The pump is powered either by a generator or, more affordably, by solar panels. Vernier has also developed a hybrid system, which allows a generator to take over when there is not enough sunlight. Je suis le papa du village et je ne souhaite pas que ce quartier souffre d'eau. Parce que moi, j'ai une petite famille ici, mais j'utilise neuf bidons par jour. Water is distributed at public points of sale in the village, as well as a private distribution point for the CSPS, the Health and Wellness Center. Our day in Burkina Faso is nearly at an end. 
Besides the technological feats made possible by equipment designed, installed and managed by Vernier Hydro, these successes come from strong partnerships with local and national authorities. Thanks to water and its benefits, many people here can live better. From Africa to France, a whole network of professionals is working to achieve this ambitious goal. Serve clean water to the people who need it, respecting their long-term development. On a des pompes qui sont utilisées dans des conditions parfois extrêmement difficiles. Pourtant, 20 ans après, elles marchent encore. C'est formidable. C'est une immense fierté. Quand je me promène en Afrique et que je vois les villageois s'approvisionner en eau potable, pour moi, c'est merveilleux. C'est le succès de toute une aventure. Le combat n'est pas fini. Le service de l'eau doit être amélioré, en particulier en termes de potabilisation. Nous y travaillons avec les Africains. Beaucoup de progrès, mais il y en a encore beaucoup à faire.